Hello and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis. We are going to be going through the Bitcoin chart. I'll be going through my current trading plan, what I am waiting for right now and uh, how we can expect this day to go. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope that you're doing very well. You're as excited as I am for the big week ahead. Massive, massive, massive week. Obviously reaching that lovely fib time towards the end of the week, as well as now coming right down to the bottom of this Bitcoin range. Oh, you need your guts about you this week. You're going to need that confidence boost. And yeah, let's go into the charts. So I mean, what can we say, ladies and gentlemen? It, it really all comes down right now to being prepared. As we've said, oh, baby, I, how many times have I said, you just have to be prepared right now. If you have no plan, if you do not know what you want to do, you will lose money. So stop everything and make sure you have this plan. Make sure you know what you're looking for here to trade. E.g. myself, and I've made this clear in my group, I am not interested in longing right here. I personally am waiting for a little bit lower before I get interested in long. So that's pretty easy for me right now. I'm just short and chill. <laughs> and it's as simple as that. My, my plan is literally just stay in my short position and wait for lower. Okay. Um, obviously, where am I looking for? I'm looking for around this daily. And it's for me pretty clear. And yeah. This is the thing you always have to think, you know, is it possible that we put in a higher low above this this, this low and, and go up from here? Of course, I'm going to always say, of course, that's possible. But for me, it's not a, it's just not a trade that I'm going to take. So, uh, you know, I've been saying this now for over 24 hours. I'm, I'm, I'm happy to, you know, wait, wait for lower, essentially. And what I will say by this one as well is I'm not presetting any longs here. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I'm not presetting any longs here, okay? So what I mean by this is, uh, let's say if it goes, I would get in, you know, try and get in on a market order sort of thing. I don't have any limit orders preset. And that, that just protects me for the case that we do something more like this and, um, you know, drop drop, drop down lower. Um, you know, if it just goes quickly through it, then, you know, it's not going to bother me because I, I do not have preset limit orders. I'm trading this off at a reaction, okay? So obviously what we're going to be looking for, if... Okay, because of course we can just bounce up here and if that's the case, hey, I missed the trade, but I'm really not bothered about it. Um, you know, I can just get in and have a trade when I see when I see an opportunity. Um, so it's not the end of the world. But, you know, the things that we're obviously going to be looking for here are, you know, primarily obviously looking going to be looking at the volume. Obviously, you have to be looking at the delta, the open interest, and a few things that I would be looking at is obviously the size of our, our candles and the time and the trade counts that they're, they're coming in at, like a, at the speed and the size that they're coming in at. So, you know, it's EG, it's based off of the reaction and the, and the data that you get. So you wouldn't, you know, I personally wouldn't anyway, just like randomly go into a trade just because like, oh, it's hit the daily, let's just take a trade here. No, you kind of want to see a little bit more than that. Um... So yeah, the the best way to well, this is I just say the the way I'm approaching this. I don't know up to you if you decide if that's the best way. The way I'm approaching this is waiting for that daily. If and when we get the daily, that's when I'll zoom into the charts, come over onto you know a sculpting sort of template, look at sort of the volume that we're getting on this. The, the you know essentially how many you know how many aggressive sellers are we getting, and and, and do we see signs of absorption? Do we see signs as, as, you know, the bigger players, which I refer to as the exchanges, are exchanges holding this, you know, essentially what's going on down there. Uh, for me here, this is just, you know, I cannot really take much information from what's going on down here, e.g. I'm not going to trade. So you only want to trade when you have the best trades, you know, and if you don't have a highly probable trade, you know, I would say why trade? <laughs> so I'm not going to, I'm basically, I'm not going to trade here. And I've been ready, patiently waiting for this, um... Uh, so yeah, I'm not going to uh, now throw my plan out of the window and be like, hey, I'm going to just trade now. No, I'm, I'm pretty happy to, uh, I don't actually hold a long position at the moment, so I'm just in shorts. And it's just like, yeah, you know, I suppose one of two things are going to happen. We will drop lower and then I get the opportunity for a long. Again, I'm not presetting because, hey, if we just smash straight through it, then I don't want to be caught offside. But 
there is obviously the second play but that maybe uh, maybe maybe we do hold a low here and we do make our way back up well then i think that one of the first things that you're really going to be wanting to look for yeah is a trend change so you see all of this move down all of the move down here has been with the lower highs and the lower lows like it's it it's one of obviously the more simplest ways of viewing trading just the simple trend and it has been characterized obviously with the higher High, lower highs and lower lows yeah so high low lower high lower low lower high and obviously i need to shout them out again mike <laughs> gave everybody the short position which they could very much easily have got into if you trusted him uh when we obviously lost uh the old you know we basically rejected off the daily come back below retested the value area high and from there i mean you really could still be in the same position really because the whole time it's just been with the lower highs and lower lows even on that rally that we got on the 20th still in the end actually made a lower high and you know continued down here so i suppose this is the other factor that we could be you know we could i would personally be you know saying okay i personally am looking for lower but what what, what invalidates me what says that i'm wrong yeah and this is where you have to throw ego out the window you just have to accept and trade the charts yeah i'm looking for lower does it mean it has to go lower of course not so where where would be something for me to say to myself okay daniel this does not look like it's going lower anymore get involved higher yeah and that's okay for me because if i get involved higher yeah i don't long the exact bottom but i would say to myself i'm longing on a bit of a, a sign of strength which i think overall is, is is a good tactic to do because of course unless you're a very good trader um it's pretty hard to catch bottoms perfectly yeah you have to be you know fairly good trader to do this so the majority of the time you know buying on a sign of strength would have you know because you just have to think about how you know answer honestly how many of you have tried to buy the low of this and then uh you know still holding on to the position now for example and thinking to yourself oh, i'm gonna buy here oh it's gonna bounce it's gonna bounce i'll buy the dip buy the dip buy the dip or whatever but all you could all you all you could just wait for that sign of strength and buy the sign of strength yeah so it's like do you want to buy weakness e.g a dip that could just dip and dip and dip and dip it's like buy the dip hey what happens when all your money runs out because you, you didn't buy the, the bottom of the dip you know so you could, if you just wait for that sign of strength and that could and you know i think it's a good tactic and as you can see right now we've literally gone support into resistance support let me just do this for you i'll make it very clear support into resistance yeah it's very 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 clear here you didn't even manage to get the retest at a very very weak bounce here of course you well you come up into your own range if you remember this video from the other day <clears throat> i was obviously talking about this one whereas if we got acceptance into the local pass range we'll look to trade it back up to the higher range that actually worked out pretty pretty well because we came up to the value area high of that range and it obviously got rejected so what we could be saying for right now is the next support resistance flip is obviously here support into resistance so if we see acceptance above this that will of course we can just look back to the you know past prior range it doesn't mean we get a full-on reversal but it does offer a long trade yeah just like here for me offered a long trade i did take a long uh did take a long here <clears throat> obviously i'm not in it anymore and I've, <laughs> I've got out of it but you know that offers a long for me if we get you know acceptance above or into a prior range hey that that would be a long and you know, I'm happy to long a little bit higher. Like on this one, I didn't long the exact low of this move. I waited for the acceptance and then, you know, took the long back up, you know. So same would same would be for me here. I'd, I'd, I'd happily take a long higher, but obviously I'd prefer lower. <laughs> um, you know, I'm not in any longs at the moment. So it's like, yeah, that's kind of the way I'm approaching this right now. Um, and, and the thing is, you know, I, I'm approaching this with full confidence. Uh, you know, I'm not scared right now. I'm not fearful right now. Why would I be fearful? Why would I be scared? Like this is going... You know, there's just no need to be. There's just really no need to be scared. There's no need to be. Uh, you know, if this crashes down to low twenty thousand dollars, I'm not. I'm not scared. I'm not fearful. Uh, you know. You know, if if you if you play from a position of weakness, I think you'll get wrecked. If you play from a position of strength, if you play with this position of hey, I know exactly what I'm doing. Even if I'm wrong on this trade, hey, I'm losing a percent, two percent of the capital and I move on to the next trade. If you if you truly have your risk management locked down, if you truly have your plans on lock and you know exactly what you're looking for, I feel you playing from such a position of strength. I mean, yeah, most people don't do this and, and that's why a lot of people lose money. But anyway, I, I digress because at the end of the day, we do have this range to trade still. Obviously, this is being the low of the range. Um, 
so naturally we can look to trade this range and if it breaks to the downside then we look towards our next layers of support further down and if we maintain support in the range then we can you know look back up to the high of the range which seems a long way away by right now but that's obviously what people have thought the last three times we've been down here so you know it's something to bear in mind um you know, I think you, 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 I think if you're being sensible, you would have a plan for if the range holds and we get a rotation up and for if the range doesn't hold and we break to the downside. So you have to be prepared for, you know, both of those scenarios. And if you are only prepared for one of those scenarios, well, uh, you're probably going to lose money again, aren't you? Because <laughs> you're not planned for, <laughs> for the other scenario. So, um, yeah, that's the really, really simply the way I'm trading this right now. I'm lo looking, obviously, for this daily region. Again, we could come down and even swing failure pattern that the, the lowest low made at 29,800. So I think you want to you know, you want to look at this as a little bit of a region. But yeah, personally, I'm not buying here. Again, I'd prefer to buy lower or, or get interested lower. I'm not necessarily going to buy this. I'm going to wait for the, you know, wait for the data that comes in. Is it, is, you know, is, is there any need for me to jump into this or not? Or alternatively, if we manage to get a bit of strength, get back into prior ranges, then of course, then I get another long opportunity. Uh, it's just for me right now, you know, it's just not what I'm looking for. And, and I have enough, you know, wits about me to say, hey, this isn't what I'm looking for. I'm not going to trade. Yeah, it's, it really is as simple as that. If you do not have your setup, do not trade. There's no point in trading just to trade. Wait for the highest probability trades and you'll see your win rates going from 20% to 80%. So, you know, that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm waiting for. Ladies and gentlemen, quick update. Hope it's offered you some clarity. You know, maybe some opposing thoughts, ways that you can look at getting involved in this market. Um... Yeah, there, there you go. Obviously, I've given my whole plan to the champions in Sunday's Champions live stream. They know exactly what I'm looking for here. The levels, should we break to the downside? Should we break to the upside? The whole range that's going on. Obviously, if you're interested in that, chartchampions.com. For everybody else, hope you've, hopefully I've offered you some clarity of how you can view this, things you can look out for, should we break down, and the reactions that you're looking for of the footprint chart. And... Um, you know, if we get a market structure change, and obviously that does mean buying higher, but one would say it's buying with a bit of strength, which we have not seen throughout all of this move down. The only kind of sign of potential strength was here, but obviously then we were just rejected off the value area high of that range. Uh, you had this, you had a bearish, going a bit off topic, you also had a bearish CCV setup up here. So obviously this was a weak rally. This was a very, very, when you look at the volume of this, Okay, so when you looked at the volume, the open interest, everything here was a very, very, very weak bounce. So when you start to recognize how to recognize weak bounces, weak volume, weak open interest, weak delta, into, into value area highs with rejections, into C bearish CCV setups, you know, you kind of start to understand, um, <laughs> start to understand, okay, this is, uh, you know, you've got to be able to read the volume, essentially. Anyway, I digress. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you ever so much. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Of course, I always have to say this, not financial advice. You know, at the end of the day, I cannot tell you what to do. You have to, you know, maybe use some of the educational entertainment material from this video and uh, come up with your own ideas at the end of the day. So, uh, yeah, important legal trade disclaimer. Ladies and gentlemen, hope you've enjoyed. Thank you ever so much. Have a good day ahead. And, um, yeah, that's me signing off. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm very happy. I'm very excited for this week. Uh, it's one we've been waiting for a long time. And if you know, you know. So, uh, yeah, thanks, everybody. Cheers. Have a good one and goodbye.